now i would like to come towards the behavior of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam towards his enemies kufar and mushrikeen the combatant enemies this is well reported in all books of hadith and books of seerah and books of islamic history it is reported in sahi bukhari in kitab ul maghazi in sahi muslim kitab ul jihad wa sayyar and in ibn tabaqat ibn saad of tabaqat and ibn hisham and ibn ishaq everybody has reported that when at the time of the conquest of makka fath makka this was the city where the kufar and mushrikeen had surrounded the house of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam with the naked swords and he was compelled to leave his beloved city homeland and he migrated to madina after 8 years of continuous imposition of wars on holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam by the meccan when he came and the makkah was conquered conquered the on the day of conquest saad bin ubada raised his voice radiyallahu ta'ala no and said al yawm yawm al malha this is the day of revenge o kufar of makkah today we are here after conquering the city of madina and get ready for revenge whatever you did with holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when you compelled him to leave his beloved homeland and when you were imposing for the last 8 years continuously you were imposing war after war and a war after war on the city of madina now we have conquered the city of makka get ready for revenge this voice was raised abu sufyan came to holy prophet sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam with this complaint ya rasulullah your companions are saying this is the day of revenge holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa anger was seen on the face of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he stood up and replying and responding to the slogan of saad bin ubada he said no this is not the day of revenge al yawm yawm al marhama this is the day of mercy this is the day of forgiveness and this is the day of pardon after conquering the city of madina makkah we will forgive every enemy who have been torturing throughout our history and then holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam declared promulgated a declaration of peace a declaration of security and he said man dakhala dar abi sufyan fa huwa aminun ومن القى السلاح فهو امن ومن اغلق بابه فهو امن this is the hadith reported by sahih muslim hadith sahih holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said declared an amnesty holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if anybody today amongst our enemies anybody enters the house of abu sufyan and abu sufyan was the person who was at enmity at war at hostility for the last 8 years and that was the day when he embraced islam he said anybody who enters the house of abu, abu sufyan he would be secured anybody who disarms himself just he throws his arms disarms himself he would be secured and anybody who just shuts his door of his house he would be secured